then I went to Philadelphia. But when I was teaching there, I met a lot of people and I, when I was teaching in Pennsylvania, University of Pennsylvania, I met Louis Kahn. And when I met Louis Kahn there, they knew that I was the one first Indian who had worked with Corbusier and then was also in Chandigarh, etc. So the whole faculty was keen to know more about Corbusier. This was in about 1960s. So there we became very good friends. Then I taught in Philadelphia for almost 20 years. Every semester. I, I used to go for a semester. Then I reduced to seven weeks, then three weeks, then two weeks, etc. But it was ongoing. And so there I used to meet Louis Kahn a lot because he revered Corbusier very much. For him, Corbusier was his guru. He was like Eklavya. He didn't want to meet him, but he respected him. Vikram Bhai then decided to do the IIM. And they were looking for an architect. So he was asking me whether there is a foreign architect or somebody. He showed me some names. I said, they are not good. So uh, he says, what do you suggest? I said, if we have Corbusier's building, which, are, which makes this international place, why not ask Lou also to talk? So I went to Aspen conference where Louis Kahn also was there. And I told Lou, I said, look, uh, there is a job. He says, I don't want to work. I said, no, there are Corbusier's buildings. And I will be with you if you want. He says, then it is all right, I'll come. So he decided to come. But then when he came here, he saw the things, then I introduced him to Kasturbai. So I became a liaison between them. And strange enough, uh, when I asked him about agreement, because we had a lot of foreign exchange problems. So I am, would only get some money from Ford Foundation and others, but not much money was there. So Vikram Bhai is asking Kastur Bhai, and we talk in Gujarati, Paisanathi, Vikavite Apsu like this. So I was talking to Khan, I said, what shall we do now? We have to sign an agreement. He says, I don't sign agreements. I said, but you have to. He says, no, I don't think papers have any value. I don't want to go to court. So one was that. Second thing was that, uh, how will you do then? Uh, what about fees? He says, you pay me my travel and little money that I spend in the office and models. If you can't afford more, then it's okay. Because he was keen to work on one condition that I work with him and I take the charge for India for constantly working with him. And second was Corbusier's buildings were there. So this is really the connection. So he took this as a very major assignment. Then he got a job in Pakistan. So his coming was through this with the one guarantee that I will represent him here as his colleague, associate. So there was never any contract? And he came here many times over the next decade? Twelve years he came. At least twelve, fifteen times, sure. And Every year, twice, then sometimes. Yeah, I think more because it was all dependent on the funding from the Ford for the travel grant. Where would you stay? You would stay in a hotel, but you would spend mostly time with me. You would eat with us.